bright duty every student matters now we all have read about ground water in our lower classes let us talk about ground water more we all know that ground water is a very important source for water right but what is ground water and what is the source of ground water how does ground water come how is ground water you know um how is it replenished why does it not finishes and where do we find ground water how can we how do we know that there is ground water well we all have studied about water table right now what is water table well we have read it in our earlier classes also and let me quickly again tell you basically water table is the level where the ground will be filled with water if you go any layer lower you must have seen when we dig the ground there comes a point when we see water under the ground so that is the point where what is water table what a water table is right so when we dig and when we see water water doesn't come exact you know immediately once you start digging no once you start digging there is a, a zone of aeration basically air is you know trapped inside the soil particles or uh, rocks or pebbles whatever is there in the ground and once that air is released there is a point where the water comes out so basically that particular area is called as water table right and water table it varies from place to place it is not necessary that water table is exactly the same everywhere no it doesn't happen like that water table is different at some place there would be you know uh, water table would be little lower at some place maybe a little higher at some place so it varies according to the kind of rainfall which that particular place is getting according to that you know the ground if it is a cemented ground the water table will be very less if it is a uh, a rough patch of ground suppose soil is there so water table will be you know a little higher so it varies according to the place the water table varies from place to place and can be as shallow as a meter or as deep as several meters under the ground all right now what is ground water and what is the source of ground water how do we get ground water ground water is basically replenished or we can say um, it it this this source of ground water is rain water once the rainfall happens the ground it you know it takes absorbs water so that is what is called as ground water and uh, through rainfall the ground water level is maintained and the water which ground water is basically the water which is found below the the water table so basically water table uh, the the water which is found beneath the water table that is called as ground water all right now we will read about a process which is called as infiltration what does infiltration mean in general infiltration means to you know invade a place or you can say infiltration means to to interrupt to you know invade in like that to absorb to seep in like that so what is basically infiltration here what do you see in this diagram well we can see there are two arrows which are marked and which are marked towards the ground and it is uh, and it's written inflow here which means the water is coming and going inside the ground and basically the ground is absorbing that water the rain water and water from other sources such as rivers ponds or any other water body it seeps through the soil it goes inside the uh, you know the soil the ground and it fills the empty spaces which is beneath the ground and cracks and which is which are deep below the ground so basically what happens when the uh, rainfall is happening or from the water bodies water seeps in into the grounds the cracks the spaces the you know little tiny little spaces it is filled with water now this process of seeping of water inside the ground is called as infiltration all right it is very simple basically the process of seeping in of water inside the ground is called as infiltration okay the ground water thus gets recharged by this process 
for example if we are using ground water suppose in a field uh, there is a tube well installed or there is a hand pump installed in some area so the ground water is being used but how will the ground water replenished how will the level be maintained because of in the process of infiltration the ground water is maintained all right now there is one more thing called as aquifer now what is an aquifer let's quickly read it at places the ground water is stored between layers of hard rock below the water table this is known as an aquifer now basically what is an aquifer sometimes when the water seeps in into the ground it is you know uh, it is stored between the layer of, layers of hard rock below the water table below the water table when there are hard rocks the water it it is stored between the layers of those hard rocks and that is known as an aquifer okay water in the aquifers can be usually pumped out with the help of tube wells or hand pumps now if we want to take that water out how do we pump it out we pump it out by the help of hand pumps or tube wells have you understood the meaning of an aquifer aquifer is basically the water which is stored beneath between the layers of the hard rocks beneath the water table all right so that is an aquifer here we have given two uh, diagrams this is a coastal aquifer this is basically a picture from australia this is a coastal aquifer and this is a well well uh, what is a well how does well well work basically when the water it is stored between the layer of rocks so this the the water which is found inside the well it is basically the area the water which is stored between the rocks all right so this is an aquifer now we'll talk about depletion of water table depletion depletion means a uh, decrease in of water table now how does water table decrease does it actually decrease or the water is maintained well water drawn from the from under the ground gets restored by seepage of rain water now when the rain happens that rain water it seeps in through the ground and the water which is drawn out from the ground it is restored so basically if we are draw you know drawing out the water from the ground because of the rain water which is seeping in the water is restored so the balance is maintained all right the water table does not get affected as long as we draw as much water as is replenished by natural processes the water table it is not affected only till the time the water is being replenished exactly in the same manner or exactly in the same level that has been drawn out for example i'll give you a very rough example from our daily uh, from our household suppose there is a container it is filled with water okay and you take a glass and you take out one glass of water from that container now that container is less of one glass of water right but if you uh if you put that container beneath a tap and you open the tap what happens the container is again filled it will fill exactly uh exactly the amount of water you have taken out that will be filled or maybe little more right so base it is the, the simple example the simple thing is that the amount of water you are drawing out from the ground exactly that amount of water if it is seeping inside the ground then the water table is maintained all right then the water table is maintained however water table may go down if the water is not sufficiently replenished the water table may actually deplete if the water table is not you know uh, not sufficiently replenished suppose you have drawn out a bucket of water from the ground but uh, the rain has not happened for for a very long time then the no water is seeping inside uh, there is no water bodies uh, nearby suppose and suppose the water is not seeping in the ground then how is the water table going to be maintained it won't maintain it will deplete right so basically water table will only deplete 
if the drawn out water is more than the water which is being seeped inside. All right. Now there are few factors which affect in the depletion of water table. What are the factors? Let us read. Increase in population, industrial and agricultural activities. Now, if there is an increase in population, we all know that the population is increasing day by day, day by day in the whole world, right? So, increase in population affects in the depletion of water table. How? Because of the population, the increase of population, there is a demand, there is a uh, the demand of construction of houses, of shops or uh, some more infrastructure, right? So, because of that, the ground, the water table will deplete because the rainfall will, whenever the rainfall will fall, the grounds will be of concrete and concrete grounds cannot seep in lot of water as much as the soil can. Right. So, increase of population, industrial and agricultural activities, all these factors help affect the water table. It, it, it basically depletes the water table. Right. Now, there are few more factors which affects in the depletion of water table. What, whatever we have read, uh, what, what we have read just now, we have read increase in population, agricultural activities and industrial activities. What other factors are there? Factors like deforestation and decrease in the effective area for seepage of water. Now that the deforestation has taken place, deforestation is very common these days. So deforestation basically affects the depletion of a water table and the decrease in the effective area. Now that the concrete grounds are there, the water won't seep in as much as it will seep in through the soil. Or what happens when the deforestation occurs? Basically, the roots of the, the big trees, they hold a lot of water inside the soil. So now that the trees are not there, the effective area which will you know hold the water, that will be less. So these are uh, more factors which actually affects the water table. Are there any more factors? Let us quickly read. Well, yes, scanty rainfall. When there is less rainfall or no rainfall, it will result in a drought and there will be no groundwater or no water table. The water table will be very, very less and decreased, okay? Especially in the desert areas. You can see in the picture, the desert area, you can see the ground, how the, you know, how the cracks are there. If there is no water, these kind of cracks have appeared on the land, on the surface. And scanty rainfall is a big factor of uh, depletion of the water table. Now let us read the factors one by one. The first factor was increasing population. How does it affect the water table? Well, increase in construction of houses, shops, roads and offices. That I just told you that more the population, more the demand of shops, houses, offices, roads, infrastructure. So, of course, when there will be, there will be con concrete ground, there will be less seepage of water, right? Decrease in open areas like parks and playgrounds. When there will be less open areas, there will be less uh, amount of seepage of water and less uh, decrease in the water table. What is the consequence? Decrease in seepage of rainwater into the ground. Pakka floors does not allow water to seep easily. As we have uh, just discussed that the concrete floors, the concrete ground, the pakka floors, they do not allow the seepage of water easily, right? So because of the increasing population, the water table decreases or depletes. Now, the other one is increasing industries. How does that affect the water table? Well, we all know most of the, uh, you know, manufacturing or most of the industrial activities, they need water. But how do they get water? Well, almost everything needs water for its production. Number of industries are increasing continuously. All the industries, they need water for production of any, whatever the product is. And there are a lot of industries which are increasing day by day. 
water used by the industries is drawn from the ground the industries they draw the water they take the water out from the ground and that is how the water table depletes especially at the places where there are industries and more of the factories all right third one is agricultural activities now how does that affect in depletion of water table well scarcity scarcity of rainfall forces the farmers to use ground water for irrigation as the irrigation systems such as canals are only present at few places canals are present only at few places all across the india all or all, all across the world the canals are present at you know very few places not everywhere so how do the farmers will irrigate their fields if there is no rainfall how how will they do that well they will draw the water out from the ground and how will it how the water will be drawn out it will be drawn out by the help of a tube well or a hand pump or you know big big pumps like these and this is you uh, you this this kind of water the ground water is used for irrigation of the fields and this is one reason uh, why the ground water depletes the water table depletes okay